My name is Rachel Johnson, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Maxwell Institute. As a post uh, a postdoctoral fellow, I uh, get to enjoy a period of time where I can concentrate and deepen um, some different research projects in, in a kind of sustained, focused way. And so that's what I get to do here as a postdoctoral fellow. Uh, a couple of those projects that I get to develop and work on here with a really supportive community and a collaborative environment and a lot of cross-fertilization of different um, ideas and and, and fields of study, um, which is so beneficial and helpful. Um, so those have informed a couple of my projects. One, which is on uh, Spanish Catholicism in the 18th century, particularly around conflicts about the idea of the senses and emotions and the body in the way people worship both as individuals and as communities. Um, and a second project is about how ideas around what I call imminence and uh, the kind of daily life and the way it's lived out in religious communities in the was was a point of discourse in the 19th century and how the Latter-day Saints came to be a prominent figure in a lot of these conversations and the ways in which they were seen as kind of fusing or blending the imminent and the transcendent, the the daily, the social, the the labor, the emotions, all of the kind of texture of daily life uh, with the kind of transcendent aims and goals of, of creating heaven and earth and, and becoming like God. And so those two projects are related to me um, and thus contribute to the Maxwell Institute's mission to not only fortify the testimonies of Latter-day Saints, but to engage the world of religious ideas. And I'm really fascinated by uh, some of the differences, but more often not the similarities in these kinds of Catholic sensibilities and questions around um, the imminent, the, the bodily, the communal, and how I see that playing out in their perceptions of uh, the Latter-day Saints in, in the 19th century.